Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the North Town News Magazine. Hello, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to North Town News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to North Town News. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the North Town News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the North Town News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the North Town News Magazine. For the identity of the real Marty Levinson, please stay tuned for the North Town News Magazine. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that lemon light city. Sweet home Chicago Two two is four 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 six Come on baby and I'll get your business face Come on Hey there, I am really Marty Levinson Don't let anybody fool you Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show With the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch And your host, Avi Myers Thank you, Marty. Ivy Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web at www.ntnm.org. A couple hundred thousand shows watched, even more than that. Community Policing World, Big on Caps 24org We're going to give you a minor community calendar listing today. I want to remind you that Sunday, June 10th, is the Chicago Jewish Fest. It's in the Forest Preserves. I want to say Skokie. I'm pretty sure it's there. It might be Lincolnwood Niles, whatever. And um, there's like 30,000 plus people every year. We're going to be out there filming. It starts at 11 in the morning. It runs till about 6 at night. There are going to be numerous musical groups. And I think um, the lead singer, the Beer Naked Ladies, whose name I can't think right now, is going to be the uh, featured artist. But there are like literally 20 or 25 different uh, musical acts performing. So make sure you check it out. And uh, the business event is coming up June 14th. We'll remind you about that. Our second guest today is Rabbi Zev Khan and Arye Berian, Rabbi Arye Berian of the Jet Team, who've got an, their event coming up June 4th, the big political debate, which is pretty cool. I'd like to introduce you to somebody who is no stranger to our show, somebody who, speaking of networking and getting things going in a big, big hurry, um, he started the Small Business Advocacy Council, and it grew so fast, I'm not sure the Small Business Advocacy Council is a small business anymore. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting bigger. <laughs> Thank you. And, of course, we're talking about Elliot Richardson. Hey, Elliot, how are you doing? Wonderful to see you, Avi. Thank you for having me. First of all, my pleasure. Good to see you. Thank and you. You've got, well, first, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the business event coming sure. up. Which sure. is a free event that you're doing in conjunction with Shalom Klein of the Jewish B2B Network. That is right. And that's going to be Thursday, June 14th. And you've basically got the uh, Lincolnwood Town Mall, is it? Uh, yeah, we've got the Lincolnwood Town Mall for the afternoon and the early evening. And uh, we've got about 2,000 people who have already registered to come. So those are business owners and professionals. And it's including I. Including uh, <laughs> Mr. Myers. Uh, and it, it's really a great place to empower small and mid-market businesses. There's going to be education there. Uh, there's going to be a lot of great connections to be made. Uh, I know there's going to be some political folks who are going to come and hear about the issues that are impacting small and mid-market businesses. So uh, it was a really good success last year, and we're expecting uh, another great one this year. Now it sounds good, and it's completely free. It is. Yep. So check it out. You can find it on Facebook, and uh, it sounds really cool. And the fact that it's at a place like the Lincolnwood uh, Business Center, because I guess you outgrew the uh, last year's... Um, the, uh, yeah, it was at uh, the Hyatt, I believe, yeah. last year, and it was great there, but yeah, we got a little bigger, and uh, we're expecting more folks, so uh, it looks like the mall's a great venue for it. Oh, that sounds absolutely terrific. So let's talk about the SBAC. I mean, it's really like, what is it, about a year and a half now? About two years. Yeah, we started about two years ago. And how many members do you have now? We have 500 businesses. Wow. So um, that's everything from managing directors and, and CEOs of very, very large companies to entrepreneurs to everybody in between, um, all really coming together to uh, really try to speak uh, for small and mid-market businesses because at the end of the day, uh, they are the backbone of society. They really are. You hear a lot about it from politicians, but it's the truth. Um, so we are sort of having this... Uh, this impact of bringing people together to uh, support one another. 
No, it definitely sounds nice. And basically, you, you're, you're, you're able to offer all kinds of things to people as a result. And well, you know what? You've got programs going. You've got action programs going in the legislature. Yes. Uh, well, we, we do three things. So we do political advocacy. Yeah. So we have a lobbyist, uh, and we draft laws that are laser-focused on mid market and small businesses and a lot of these um, laws are common sense laws that get bipartisan support that just nobody else thought of before because uh, the focus has not been on small and mid-market businesses. Uh, we, then we have the whole concept is everybody gives everybody else discounts to try to bring down the costs of doing business. And the third thing is we have a breakfast, lunch, or cocktail hour every day. Sometimes we do two or three a day. And every day. No, really every day. Yeah. I know, I get the email um, every I'm Every day. <laughs> and, and, and what we're doing is we specifically invite 25 people. So it may be somebody, you know, a VP at a bank, a couple attorneys, a manufacturer, and we try to sit them all down at the table and uh, strategically get people to know one another so they're able to do business with one another. So those are really the th three things that we do. We focus on education as well. Uh, and we're, you know, we've got about 100 businesses out in the um, western suburbs now. We've got a ton in the North Shore, a lot in Chicago, and now we're getting inquiries about from Florida and New York and New Jersey about bringing the SBAC out there. Wow, I think that's extremely cool. It, it really is, is, it really is. Yeah, well, there, there's a need for it. So uh, it's been going real well. No, that's very exciting. I mean, basically, uh, it's it's really one of the fastest growing organs between you and Shalom Klein and joining together. I mean, yeah. the way yeah. you guys, but you have even more growth because you've got more stuff going on. Well, we have a lot of different things going on. I mean, uh, not that Shalom isn't a real winner. Oh, well, Shalom's <laughs> fantastic. And what he's yeah. done is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, and the connections he's made for his business organization. Yeah, he's already meeting with the president of the United States, going to the White House, knows everybody in the state of Illinois. Yeah, he, it, are fantastic. <laughs> um, you know, for what we do is, is I guess I'll give you an example. Sure. Uh, health insurance is a huge issue for small and mid-market businesses. Oh, yeah. um, so we formed a coalition of 19,000 businesses. So you've got the SBAC, but then you've got all of these other chambers and different organizations like the GOA and the Chicago Southland. And we all are feeling the same pain, and that's we cannot get affordable health insurance. So by coming together, we were able to move legislation through the Senate Small Business Committee in Illinois uh, that now allows us to issue self-insured cooperatives, form self-insured cooperatives. Mm. And uh, we've teamed now with a company that's seeking a $175 million loan wow. um, to put this thing together. And the whole purpose is to bring down the cost of health insurance and bring transparency to the process. So what we found is there's an amazing amount of power that comes through critical mass. Yeah. And it's contagious and it's empowering. And it takes the place of big bucks. And that's what we're trying to do. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing. It really is. It's, Thank you. Uh, you know, you, I'm thinking about all the stuff you're doing. It's really making my head spin. I, I'm, <laughs> I kind of admire it uh, that, that this all developed the, the way it did. What, what else? We, got, we can talk about one other thing. Well, uh, you know, I'll talk about a bill that we're going to be introducing next week. Sure. So a lot of, if you're a small or if you're a mid-market business owner, you may get upset that large companies like Sears get very big tax breaks to either stay in the state or sure move do. to another state. Uh, I, we don't have a position one way or the other on taxes, but we think it should be fair. So we're, um, we are going to introduce a bill that would say to Indiana, Wisconsin, and Illinois, hey, let's all come together, form a pact, no more special tax breaks for big corporations. And if the governments of Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin say no, we're going to go to the people and, you know, say to a small business owner in Wisconsin, how do you feel um, when you're paying taxes but a big company is lured from Illinois to Wisconsin? Um, and they get special tax breaks. And we feel that that's going to resonate. And we have bipartisan support for this bill uh, because it's right. So, uh, you know, take all those special tax breaks that are going to big corporations and spread them out amongst the small business community who is the biggest job creator uh, sure in are. the state. And uh, I think we would have some real economic growth. No, it sounds good. And the fact is, in that way, if not, everybody's cutting their own throats. And, and all these states are trying to cut each other's throats. Well, Avi, you said it really well, and there's a study that this law is based on. And it was mm. the first study was actually out of Paris and the Midwest region, and exactly that's what they found. They said the region is tearing itself apart, um, alluring big companies from one state to another state. Uh, they're cutting their own revenue, and it, essentially cutting their own throat. Which mm. that's, that's a very good way of saying it. Thank you. So um, what we want to do is we want, we want to stop that um, and make sure that everybody is paying their fair share of taxes. 
No, that sounds great to me. And by the way, if you've got a couple extra percent on your taxes that you want to do something with, send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Yeah, either that or not. There's a little brown tree stump, you know, like hollowed out, you know, just brown paper bag, unmarked bills. Yeah, I don't endorse <laughs> that, but that, that, that's okay. <laughs> anyway, I do want to thank you very much. Thank you. Elliot Richardson, if people want to contact um, the SBAC. Uh, they can go to www.sbacil.org. Um, my email's on there, my staff's email's on there, so feel free to reach out with any questions. We'd love to hear from you. Right, and um, you know, you're also on, you're on Facebook and all these Facebook, other good things. Facebook, LinkedIn, and... we have a whole social media committee. Uh, they're fantastic. We have 1,200 Facebook fans, so we try to really disseminate information and uh, keep that going. And by the way, I, I, it's been very exciting for me just watching you guys grow through the years. So I Thank think, you. And it's not Thank even you. a lot of years. You're just growing so fast. It's really cool. Well, when there's a need for something and you have great people that get involved, good things happen. Thank you so much, Elliot, and good luck. Thank you, Avi. Okay.